in the church we have a mixed multitude. The church has a crowd. The church has different types of people. There are different types of people who walk through the doors of the church every week, every Sunday. Number one is the browser. They come to church to take a hasty look. They come to church to scan through to see what this church has to offer. They analyze everything. They will analyze the pastor. They will analyze the worship. They will analyze the location. They will analyze the language and the philosophy of the people. They will even analyze the sermon. It is unlikely that the browser will come back because as he's in your church and he's browsing your church, he has another church in mind to visit the following Sunday. Their nature is browsing. They come to examine, they come to analyze, and they come to survey. We have browsers in the church. They are not interested with what you have to say. They just came to check you out. They came to check how people are dressed. They came to check how short the ladies' cuts are. They came to check how tight the brother's trousers are. They just came to browse. Secondly, we have the admirers. These ones have heard about the church. They like the church. They occasionally visit the church, but they are not members of the church. They admire the preaching. They admire the worship. They admire everything about the church, the setup. They admire the people who go to that church. Some of them are online members. They love being there online, but they have not joined the church officially. They will always try and associate with the church, but there is no commitment from their hearts towards that particular church. Admirers behave like brothers who see a particular sister and shows interest in this sister. And this brother will always be with the sister. This brother will always call the sister. This brother will always encourage the sister with scriptures. This brother will always stand on the side of the sister. This brother will buy the sister gifts. This brother will remember her birthdays. This brother will remember even the day she finished class 8 from 4 and graduated from the university. He will always be on the side of the sister, but he never says anything. The sister can tell that the brother admires her, but when she waits for the brother to say something, when she even tries to hint, to suggest, the guy is not even getting it. But he just likes the sister. In a conversation, he will defend the sister. When the sister wants to pick the plate, say, no, 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 no. I'll pick the plate for you. But he never says anything. Admirers. We have such people in the church as well. They admire the church. They admire the pastor. They admire the preaching of the pastor. They admire the worship of the church. But they will never commit themselves to that church. So admiring is not enough. If you like it, join it. Number three is the critical. These ones have nothing that makes them happy in the church. They specialize in seeing the bad and the ugly. They never see anything good. It's like they have different spectacles. They will only see mistakes. They will only see flaws, blunders, goofs. Anything wrong is what they actually see. They always make negative comments to discourage, to pollute and destroy the church. They fabricate stories and spread false rumors and unfounded stories about people. They hurt, demoralize and break people's hearts with their criticism. They have nothing good to say about the youth. They have nothing good to say about mothers. They have nothing good to say about fathers. They have nothing good to say about leaders. They have nothing good to say about the pastor. They have nothing good to say about the sermon. They are always critical. They are always seeing bad things in the church. Now, why are they critical? They are critical because most of them think they are better than everybody else. They are always critical because they think they know more than everybody else. They think they are better than everybody else. They think they can lead better than the leader. They can sing better than the singer. 
they can do a fantastic job than the one which is being done by a brother in the church or a sister in the church. They present themselves as the best alternative. People who spectate always have fantastic ideas of how things should be done. Sometimes when you are seated, you think you can do a better job. That's why critical people, they don't do anything, but they always criticize those who are doing something. And those guys are in the church as well. Look, if you want to criticize, you can really criticize. There are so many things that you can complain about. There are so many things that you can criticize. Because we live in a fallen world. Not everything is perfect. And so there are many things that can make you criticize, complain, mama, and that's why you have to learn sometimes to focus on the good things. Because those who complain, the Bible says, they were destroyed. Even if all the things that you see in a church are not nice, look for one thing or two things or three things that you can thank God for. 